I'm just kidding about the slow-mo running across the beach, but there are snippets of me wearing the bikinis, just not in that kind of style. So today, welcome to my channel. I'm Kat Methan. For those of you that don't know me, please subscribe. We've got a bikini haul. Um, so I recently went on a trip to Antigua and absolutely loved it. Had lots of fun in the sun and got to wear lots of amazing uh, bikinis that I had bought or had been um, kindly given. Um, although actually, pretty much all of these I bought. Um, so I am a massive lover of swimwear, which is why I share what I love with you. And um, we're gonna work through these pretty quickly because there's a few of them. And of course, like I said, I'll be showing you what they look like on as well. Um, I'll be working through things like kind of like rough idea of pricing, um, sizing, etc., etc. Um, to get started, I am kind of like a standard-ish UK size eight, um, kind of like more of an eight on the waist and um, more maybe like a size nine on the, on the legs, but I mainly wear a size eight. Um, so that kind of gives you an idea of the way things might fit. So kicking things off with this little green dotty ensemble, I got this um, on ASOS. It's by a brand called Rhythm Swimwear or Rhythm Swim. Um, and I got a small in both of these. So it's a size, it's a size eight. Um, and I got a small and they fit really, really well. Material wise, like I love this style of, <laughs> can't swim boobs there. I love this triangle style. It, it just works really, really well for me and my shape. Um, and these are low rise. There's actually more of a bum than I wouldn't even normally wear. I'm quite, I do love a thong bikini um, just because it just feels so much more comfortable than having something sort of unsure if it's meant to be up or down. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I really, really love this little set. And I think it's kind of price range for two pieces is about around about 60 pounds. So kind of not too bad. Um, they're an Australian brand. You know that the Aussies do uh, swimwear very well, so we can rely on them. Next up is my yellow bikini. Um, I was searching for a yellow bikini for so long um, and then finally saw this style on a friend of mine in khaki and she told me that they do it in yellow. And this is a very different style for me. So you'll see it on. Um, I'm Like I said, I'm used to wearing more triangle shapes. This is a bit new, but it actually feels really good. And then the bottoms are like this. And like this on the back so quite minimal and it's by a brand called fella now the only thing with these guys i ordered i got a small bottoms and small in the top they're all made to order so if you if they don't fit then i'm pretty sure that you can't return them and they're quite expensive this was kind of like a bit of a christmas present from me to me um so i spent the money um and i and i absolutely love it like i feel so good in it there's a picture that i put up on my instagram um last week and it on i said in the caption it's probably the best I've ever felt in a bikini so yes it was expensive but it's quite kind of like thick you can see there I don't know if you can see that if it's focusing but anyway there um, you can see that it's sort of like nice and thick and layered you're not going to get any see-throughness anything like that and they do so many different colors and styles as well so I really recommend checking Fella out so I have been a long-standing fan of Sea Folly very long time and this is no different. The cut of these bottoms is lovely. Really, really nice. So it's not a full thong, it's more like a Brazilian, um, but it just cuts in really well and it's got these little kind of like dangly pineapple bits on it. I don't know if you can if you can see that. Um, and then the top, the only thing I would say about the top is tan lines because it's got these kind of like lots of little uh, stripy bits. And also the fact that you have to if you're lying on your front and you don't want to get the tan lines, you need to like fully take it over your head to get it off and on. Whereas you know when you have like the little clip behind you, you can just clip it off and easily clip it on. Just if you're, I, for me, I don't mind being topless, um, but if you don't want everyone to see your your glorious assets, then um, that might not be the one for, for you if you like to kind of like unclip at the back. But um, it still it fits really nicely, feels great. I think you're looking at around 80 pounds for a sea folly bikini, um, but they they are they are great but you'll find you'll see when I show you some of the others you don't have to spend a lot to get a good bikini so there so this is prime example of not having to spend a great deal and getting a decent bikini this is ASOS own in this cute little sporty kind of dotty crop top and then the bottoms are the contrast print um, with the black and then the white but dun 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 
that are thong. So um, obviously not for everyone. But in this particular range, ASOS do this do this awesome mix and match. So they do a certain print, and then they'll do different style tops, different style bottoms. They'll do tops for kind of like a bustier woman. Um, I think there's like high waisted version of these as well. So and I think that I think the top was maybe about twelve pounds, and the bottoms were like ten. So really, really kind of you know decent price and you get a good get a good bikini out of it and I wear a size 8 in both so 8 in the top 8 in the bottoms da, da, da. I um, got this on ASOS as well actually it's got this little tie going round it going round it um, but it's River Island I love it because I love the print and I do love the cut but as you're gonna see in the video if you've got any form of tan line it's going to look a little bit silly. Um, so even though it's great, it's one for, it's maybe one for at the very beginning of the holiday when you don't have any obvious tan lines around the bikini area because otherwise it kind of looks like you're wearing, if you kind of tan as much as I did in Antigua, it might look a little bit silly. But the back of it's really, really cute. It's very low, like it's not that supportive. Um, so depending on how you feel about the kind of support in your bust area, you may want to go for something a little bit different with a bit more support because like as you can see, there's not much space. I mean, I have quite a small bust, but that's not much space to kind of hold things in. Um, but it's flattering all the same. It's just I'd beware of tan lines, like already existing tan lines when you wear this one. And another swimsuit. This I am obsessed with. This right here, this is Hun Hunza G. Um, it, you kind of can't really tell what's going on. You'll be able to figure it out when you see the video. But it's this kind of like stretchy material, like so. Um, the only thing I would say is that Hunza G size, and it's a one size fits all. Now, yes, it is stretchy, it is, and it fits really, really well. However, if you go for the white and you are um, maybe I'd probably say like a size 12 to 14 you may find that it stretches so much that it becomes a bit see-through on the nipple so I would just be aware of that but I'd definitely try it because the shape is really cool and it's got that real kind of pretty woman vibe to it which I think is super good I love it I really really love it I also have like a dress version of this it is like the ultimate pretty woman dress um, you don't really wear it that much other than sort of like roaming around on the beach but that's fine that's what you need it for um, price wise Hunza G are I think this was like 130 um, maybe a hundred maybe a little bit less but it is over the hundred mark um, all of their swimsuits and they have really really cute ones in all different colors with like um, a low scooped back with a little tutu around the waist so they're really flattering and lovely but like I say they are on the pricier side okay a little bit of high street gold now for you this one can you even see that it's kind of the sun keeps going in and out in this room so I don't know if it's like totally overexposed or not um so this one is an H&M bikini and I really like it I like the shape of the bottoms on the bum um I like the cut I got a size 8 in both top and bottom I did actually the other day buy another lilac bikini from H&M and I went for a 10 in the top so kind of dependent again on bust size um it doesn't when when it comes to bikinis as you know it's like underwear so it's not always going to be the same as buying a dress in a size 8 so you just need to try things on but I really like this it's got the kind of clip back which is nice you can take the straps down um, if you're sunbathing but just bear in mind that then it might there's not much kind of going on to keep it in, in place so it might kind of roll and show a little bit of nipple <laughs> um, which may not be what you want um, but yeah it, I think the bottoms were like 10 and the top was maybe 12 so again a really really good price range for a good bikini I will definitely bring it again it's not like a one holiday wonder situation I will be holding on to this and wearing it many times more and then we have another yellow ensemble so this is really really cute so I wanted to I love yellow and yellow bikinis sort of are all the rage but I don't feel like there's that many of them around so I wanted to show you a second version because the fella one is quite expensive so this is white and stripy and it's from Next and the shirt I'm wearing it with um, in the video is also from Next as well and it's a bigger bottom so like kind of a more like full coverage bottom tie up at the sides and it is a triangle top and it's kind of got the loops so the 
it's, I don't know how I can explain this to you. Well, you'll see it in the video when, when I'm wearing it. But yeah, and it does come with like little bits of padding, um, but you can obviously take those out because sometimes they can just be a little bit annoying. But yeah, and it's a really nice color of yellow. Sometimes like the yellows are either kind of a bit too like dull um, or they're a bit too vibrant um, so yeah that is the next one and in next I wear a size 8 but sometimes sometimes in bottoms I have to go down a size for a size 6 so just kind of maybe order yourself two different sizes see which one fits best and send back the others um, but yeah I like this it's cute okay and then last but not least um, one of my absolute faves the video that you're gonna see of me wearing it I'm wearing the cream version because I actually have this bikini in black cream and a burnt orange and it's it's by Faye Swim. They're again an Australian brand. It's exact that triangle shape again. I wear a small in bottoms and top. Um, it is a very minimal kind of thong situation with a very, very, very low front. But this is kind of like my go-to bikini if I'm just kind of want to chill in the sun and catch a little bit of a of a tan. Um, they're not cheap. I think they are about. 50 pounds top and bottom so that is actually so 50 pounds that's 100 pounds so that's quite a bit but they do some really really good um sales so i actually they did a um when i was in australia they did a black friday sale and it was like 75 percent or 65 percent off so i got the black and the cream one for like i think i got them for like 30 pounds each which was incredible um so i and i really love them and i bought my burnt orange one at full price and so i would absolutely recommend buying it at full price i think that they're a really cool brand and um yeah i really like the shape of them and everything um so yeah that is the last one um, one thing I do want to say obviously is I'm talking about sitting in the sun and tanning and things like that please 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 if you are sitting in the sun and sunbathing make sure you wear protection so yes I've been away and yes I have a bit of a tan but I only wear factor 50 um, if there's no factor 50 then I will sat I will be have a sad face and put on factor 30 but I will constantly put it on it's so so important that we protect our skin it's very very fragile and the sun can be very harsh so just make sure that you wear some protection I just wanted to add that in because you know it's important for me to be as responsible as possible um, for myself and for you so that is my bikini haul. I hope that you like that. Please do let me know which was your favorite and if you have any other bikini brands, shapes, styles that you really like, um, do tell me about them because I am obsessed <laughs> and I will happily buy more. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.